In today's world, our bodies, our identities, and our senses are enhancing thanks to technological and societal shifts. Indeed, intimacy as we know it is expanding its boundaries, enabling us to experience that universal need for love and affection beyond the physical and into the virtual. I am passionate about placing our living bodies at the center of these evolving digital interactions, converging the technologies of our times with our living cells to complement and enhance our natural bodies. The body, the technology, and the content woven to create a symbiotic user experience. I am a body technologist. I'm a researcher into human-machine interfaces. My background is in dance and performing arts. And through this, I learned about the depth of communication held within our living bodies. Our key communication tool is our live presence. Our gesture-led, emotional, sweating bodies, capable of giving and receiving so much from and to others. Nothing will ever be more special than this human communication and intimacy. In the 90s, using digital video, a lot of wires, and eventually data transmission through the burgeoning internet, I created projects with groups of performing artists and creative technologists to blend this living body into virtual spaces, enabling us to cross time and distance. Our skins became interaction canvases. We connected two or three distant stages for dance performances, exchanging our body knowledge, sharing creative ideas together, and exploring solutions. We learned to navigate through the wires, to reach out and touch each other, working with artists and creatives worldwide. We danced together and we layered our images simultaneously, one upon the other, across time zones, skin upon skin. And we orientated ourselves in these virtual physical spaces and built up a tele-intuition within our own bodies. Today, wonderfully, we have become a hypersensory body. We're able to transmit from and receive back to our bodies many types of data. As you all know, we touch our mobiles and it activates instant access to audio, video, and to proximity information. Our facial and fingerprints enable us to control our identities. And biofeedback through our fitness bands help us to monitor our health and fitness. Today, artists worldwide are experimenting with body data. This is an up-and-coming wearable called Tenth Sense. Biofeedback is created from the sound of the muscle movements and the blood flow and the heartbeats, as well as from motion and temperature. The real-time data from these body outputs, as with our fitness bands, is used to create personalized sound and visuals, to activate environments, and to control software. Touch and feel and gesture environments enable us to move and feel light today, and we can feel heat and objects at a distance. This is a magical installation by Umbrellium, laser lights that you can draw around you like cloaks, the closest to a beam-me-up Scotty experience that I've ever had. And we can all have virtual and physical companions today, anthropomorphizing ourselves into emotional journeys and adventures, avatars, representations of ourselves and others. Often, we never meet physically, and yet love and romance is, in gaming and virtual worlds is a growing activity. And robots, empathetic and emotional, they are regular stars of our sci-fi films, exploring both the positives and the negative sides of human-machine interaction. Here, this one, the blind robot, feels your face to familiarize itself with you, 
a projection of human-machine interfaces for the future. In a recent survey by Nesta for their Red Radical Innovation Weekend Future Fest, a quarter of young people in the UK said they would happily date a robot. The only caveat, according to the survey of 18 to 34-year-olds, is that their Android bow must be the perfect match and must actually look like a real-life companion. However, it is clear that for younger generations, human-machine touch is accepted as part of their ongoing lives. Holograms are coming too. The vision of future dating of the 18 to 23-year-olds in my own research groups is holographic. One said to me, in the future, when I find someone I want to have a date with, she, he might be in Tokyo. And actually, for our first date, she, he could come to my house as a hologram to have a drink with me. Virtual reality is one area that must be mentioned here, of course. VR headsets have entered the world on force this year. And to experience gaming, entertainment and education through them is a very special thing. Bossa Studios here in London are producing some amazing VR experiences. However, my feeling is that these boxes on our heads are severely disembodying us. And they break us away from each other. I'm not at all convinced that the future of intimacy can happen in VR helmets. And I am concerned about the content outputs around intimacy in the VR world, already mainly in the form of traditional male-led porn. So as we examine the hypersensory body of the future, we realize there is even more coming into this convergence. In development today by creative technologists worldwide are gaze tech, where we move objects with our eyes, taste tech and smell tech, and caress tech, much needed for intimacy. So with now with all these components coming into place, we are starting to ensure that the real living body is central towards this evolution of what can become tele-intimacy. So how do we really extend ourselves, though, into this virtual space? How do we actually get to the deep eye contact that we need? How do we get to the kind of caressing contact that we need for desire, for joy, and for passion? How do we collaborate with our living presence alongside virtual presence, using our full bodies? The way we give pleasure to each other is rapidly transforming, with some beautifully designed objects out there, many with connectivity that give us long-distance link-ups, the heartbeat pillows, the connected dildos, meaning that partners at a distance can continue to be intimate. If we email and text our partners and lovers daily, why not vibrate and pulse each other? When we feel the love, let's do it. And let's create sensational climaxes to our exchanges. The recent Nesta research also found out that half of Britons who use already contactless credit cards a lot would be happy to have microchips implanted under their skin to open doors, to log in at work, and to replace the travel card. Through implants today, for example, in the fingertips or in the palm of the hand, recipients can feel already how far away objects are and feel heat from a distance. Implant specialists, such as Professor Kevin Warwick and his teams, know the materials that are good inside our bodies, such as platinum, iridium, silicon and gold. They have a very good idea for experimentation of what these tiny little grains of rice, these little tiny implants, can do and where to position them in our bodies. So imagine the evolution of these tiny implants into our erogenous zones. Implants that connect you to your partner through your joint sensualities, enabling the body to be totally central to the interaction. And if we want to get away from physical objects, researchers such as Dr. Dan O'Hara are predicting a new type of sex toy, a new toy which actually uses programmable silicon-based gels. 
Each partner would apply this gel to themselves in the erogenous zones and would activate that and link it up into your whole sensual system. You could respond to each other through these connected gels, bespoke to your needs and to your partner, and you would feel and interact with each other's orgasms. So there's a lot of hope out there for the stretched and enhanced orgasm, maybe that type of orgasm that us humans have not even yet reached. And think about the benefits when people are working at a distance to their partners. So many people work in different countries from their families. And people who are immobile or disabled or actually choose to live independently and can still have wonderful companions and partnerships. Should this scenario become real in the future, then the ability to be intimate would be strengthened and relationships would be preserved, satisfying the needs and desires and dissipating loneliness and depression. I want to show you a short video now. This project, Me and My Shadow, is an art installation that we created and produced a few years ago. You enter a virtual world as a full virtual body with no wearables attached at all. The avatar that represents you is immediate and real-time and reflects your movements into the virtual space. This immersion environment converges motion and gesture technologies with telepresence, and it all happens inside a large virtual world, blending fully the virtual and the physical. This is a multi-locational shared space, in this case with four country bases, enabling people to interact directly between London, Paris, Istanbul and Brussels. We gave the participants very simple instructions to navigate to the centre of the virtual world, under the moon, and to find a distant avatar and give them a hug. The Internet of Bodies is born out of the convergence of today's body technologies, and it's all there to enhance our sensual experiences. The aim of Body Data Space is to create spaces for belonging, trust, and for positive collaborations, and to make natural and intimate virtual physical exchange possible for many. We all have the choice about whether we want to pick up on this type of connectivity or not. For our intimate lives, it may not be needed, and that is your own choice. But ultimately, it's the content that matters. And for the next generations, why would hope that we would start through the content made to shift some of the ongoing negative attitudes to women and the objectification of women's bodies, and to open up the debate about gender fluidity, much needed if for today's generations, and move away from sexual violence and repression. So we need to widen our horizons here, and we need to enable a diversity of sexual content to be made by people from many different backgrounds. The Internet of Bodies focuses on enhancing our natural strengths of human performance. With the body at the centre of these digital interactions, the entire body starts to become that digital interaction canvas of my dreams. So when you get home to your partner, enjoy your deep physicality, that undeniable special intimacy of skin upon skin, yet fantasize about the future sensual body, and perhaps maybe become creators of some of the new content that can make the world a more positive, intimate space. Content that will help fill generations to come with a positive future love. Thank you.